It goes without saying that Chandrayaan-3 is a matter of immense pride for India. But we bet you didn't know this about previous moon missions. Back in 2008, India successfully conducted its first moon mission, Chandrayaan. When debating about the mission at the ISRO office, then-President Abdul Kalam asked a very interesting question. How will we prove that India has been to the moon? Stumped by the question, scientists said, we will have photographs of the moon. But that was not good enough for Kalam. He proposed that just like we have an Indian flag in Antarctica to show we were there, there has to be physical proof of India on the moon. So he insisted that the spacecraft carries an instrument that can be deployed on the moon's surface. Crashing the moon impact probe on the lunar surface was not ISRO's original idea. But the team updated the plan and India left its mark on the moon. Chandrayaan-2 was initially supposed to be a joint collaborative mission between India and Russia around 2011 and 2012. ISRO was going to provide the rocket and orbiter module, while the lander and rover were supposed to come from Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency. Back then, India did not have the capacity to build its own rover. However, the lander and the rover that Russia was developing for Chandrayaan-2 showed problems on a different mission. So Russia had to make modifications, but the new design was not compatible with the Indian rocket. This was a major setback for India because Russia had to pull out of Chandrayaan-2 and the mission was delayed until 2019. This is an earlier version of the same lander that was used in Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft that recently crashed on the moon. Russia recently launched its spacecraft to the moon. But did you know that the mission was supposed to be a joint effort with Europe? Russia and Europe join hands for Luna 25, Luna 26 and Luna 27 missions. However, the European Space Agency announced that it is cutting off ties with Russia for the upcoming missions. The reason for this breakup? Russia's war on Ukraine. Given the sanctions on Russia, the ESA said it is impossible for them to collaborate with Russia for the lunar mission. The mission was anyway delayed due to conflict with Ukraine. But when ESA pulled out, it took much longer for Russia to go ahead with the launch. Over the last decade, only five countries have attempted a landing on the moon. China, Russia, India, Israel and Japan. Of these five, only China was successful in actually landing on the surface. But did you know that the missions by Israel and Japan were sent by private companies? To date, these have been the only attempts by private space agencies to land on the moon. Later this month, Japan's JAXA is gearing up to launch its first moon landing mission named SLIM. This will be the first private company to leave its mark on the moon. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.